Hey Data Factory fans, this is Daniel Perlovsky, and today we're talking about exposure control and feature flags within your Azure Data Factory pipelines. Now this is one of the most common questions that I get when I'm talking about CICD in Azure Data Factory with customers. So I want to create a video to show how can we implement the DevOps best practice of feature flagging within an Azure Data Factory pipeline. Now I am assuming a general knowledge of CICD in Azure Data Factory. And if you're brand new to the topic, I recommend that you watch our full CICD tutorial linked in the video. First off, what is a feature flag? Looking at the DevOps documentation, I think they explain in a really good manner, and I'll link this in the video as well. A feature flag essentially is a global constant per an environment that allows you to check this value, and if it's true or false, you apply code in a logical manner depending on that. So within Azure Data Factory, instead of writing you know, if else, we actually have the if condition that we're gonna use here, and we're gonna combine them with global parameters to allow you to control, are you going to run a pipeline or a set of pipeline logic depending on the environment that you're in. A quick overview on our CI/CD setup. Going into my release pipeline, I have three different factories. The first being my dev factory, which we can see the artifact pointing here and that we're looking at right here. And this is the only factory I have that's gonna be associated with a Git repository. All other factories, my UAT slash test and my production factory, are getting deployed via a DevOps CI/CD pipeline using ARM templates. Now, within my dev factory, I'm gonna go ahead into the management hub and create a global parameter, or I've already created a global parameter. Now, global parameters are constants across a data factory that can be consumed in any pipeline um, but essentially the way you assign them is when you are deploying your factory to say UAT or production, you actually could specify what the value of that constant is in that environment. So that changes per each different region. Now, this is particularly useful when say you have a pipeline that you've created, let's call this pipeline exposure control, and you only want it to run in dev. You've merged the changes in via pull request, but you don't want a certain set of logic to be either tested in a QA environment or ran in your production environment because you just feel it's not ready. Going back into the management hub, I do want to point out one quick thing. Make sure that you include your global parameters in the ARM template. The only reason this is an option is if you have something like your own customer managed key, there are some things to consider when doing that. But otherwise, most customers should include global parameters in the ARM template. So here in my pipeline in dev, I have an if condition. An if condition is an iteration and conditionals in the activities. And essentially, you are specifying an expression. And if that expression evaluates to true, you run a set of activities. If not, you run another set of activities. So opening up the expression builder here, we can see that we're using the global parameter environment to see, okay, if this parameter is dev, then if this evaluates to true, I'm going to run a wait activity that I've had in my true path. Now in this specific instance, if it's false, then I want to do nothing. But in some instances, if that feature flag is false, you might want to do a different set of logic. So if we run this here, which I actually did earlier, we could see, okay, we ran this. If it's true, we wait. That's good, that's expected because we are currently in this dev environment and the global parameter has the value of dev. Now, in this instance, I'm assuming I only want to run this set of logic in dev. And when I'm going to my UAT and production environments, I don't want to run this. This is not ready for production yet, but I, you know, I am working on this pipeline with one of my colleagues and they need to pull those changes as well. 
So look, going into my Git repo and going into my publish branch, which is generated after you click publish, we have this arm template parameters file that is generated based on the parameterization template in the management hub. You could see here that I actually have this global parameters environment value as there by default. What this means is, is when I go into my release pipeline, I can go into the tasks and since we're deploying by ARM, I can actually see, okay, when I'm overriding my template parameters, I pass in the value of that global parameter. So in my UAT environment, that's going to be UAT. So I've actually already deployed this release with these changes earlier. And going into my test factory, we could see this pipeline is the same thing. We have the same expression, that's our feature flag. But when we actually run this, we only run the feature flag, we only run the if condition because if this value was true, we'll run the activity. But going into the expression, this global parameter is not true. Going to the management hub of my test factory, I can see that this environment is actually UAT. Going to my production factory and going into the management hub, we could see this was deployed with a value of prod, which once again prevents this pipeline from running the activities that we do not want. Now you could add as many different global parameters as feature flags as you want throughout your data factory and control all of those per environment. This will allow you to really control what is actually running is the logic that's running correct and give you that granular control to really have a true continuous integration deployment solution. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'm happy to answer them.